Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I had a much better sleep last night. And about a solid, just shy of six hours, five hours and three quarters, I think I had, which I was really pleased with. Um, right, I have done my readings this morning. I haven't quite wrote my gratitude list or, you know, my list of things to do. I'm going to do that before long, before I leave. I've still got an hour or so before I get picked up. I'm going to share a little bit. I'm not going to preach this morning and say everything what I've read. You know, I'm not, but I've been reading the book of Job. Shane Taylor advised me to read this book. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. I've only read the first couple of pages, first like two and a half pages, you know, and um, it's a brilliant book. I think everybody could draw something from the book of Job and the patience of Job. I think everybody could do that. Now, I'm not going to preach from the Bible every day. I've said that. The Bible to me is of major importance at the minute, especially this specific Bible. Now, it's quite hard to interpret because it's in Old English, but I like it. I like going over and over it, right? And I like, you know, sometimes the failure to interpret. It's reminded me of when I read The Count of Monte Cristo in prison. You know, that was in Old English, classic form. And that was difficult reading. But, you know, it took a while for things to sink in, but eventually they did. And it was brilliant. And this is the same with this, you know. It's like, I need the, it's the patience. <laughs> I've got, I have the patience to read it over and I have the patience to let it, you know, digest. And I have the patience to, you know, let it reveal itself, you know, message by message. Um... Yeah. Now, you know, I'm not a fully religious man. You know, I'm not. I do read from the Bible. You know, I do believe in God. But, you know, you get these, like, fundamental Christians out there, you know, that they believe the Bible is the exact word of God. You know, no, I don't. You know, but I do draw a lot from it. Moral teachings, lessons. That's what I draw from it. Goodness. I draw goodness from it. I can't help it. So that's why I read it on a daily basis. You know, it's not because I'm a devout Christian or I go to church or anything. I read the Bible because I get something out of it. It's personal to me. That's why I read it. That's why I enjoy to read it, because it makes me feel good. And like I said yesterday, what do we do when something makes us feel good? We always go back. You know, we always go back. You know, like that can be that can be time with my kids. That can be anything. That get get something out of that can be even when I'm a woman upstairs. You know, it's like, and I have done God's work this morning. You know, so you go when something feels good, you always go back, don't you? Well, that's me in the Bible at the minute. Now, what I am going to share with you is my just for today reading, thirteenth of January. Just for today. Complete defeat. What a concept. That must mean surrender. To give up absolutely. To quit with no reservations, to put up our hands and quit fighting. Maybe to put up our hand at our first meeting and admit that we are addicts. How do we know we've taken a first step that will allow us to live drug free? We know because once we have taken that gigantic step, we never have to use again. Just for today, that's it. It's not easy, but it's very simple. Work the first step. We accept that yes, we are addicts. One is too many and a thousand never enough. I love that one. We've proven that to ourselves enough times. We admit that we cannot handle drugs in any form. We admit it. We say it out loud if necessary. We take the first step at the beginning of our day for one day. This admission frees us. Just for today, from the need to live out our addiction all over again, we've surrendered Sorry, I lost myself there. We've surrendered to this disease. We give up, we quit. But in quitting, we win. And that's the paradox of our first step. We surrender to win. And by surrendering, we gain a far greater power than we ever imagined possible. Just for today, I admit that I am powerless over my addiction. I will surrender to win. Hmm. Power that this morning for me. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about my own direction at the minute. For years and years and years, I've lacked direction. I've just been floating around with nothing to do. You know, I've always considered myself a grafter, a decent father. I've always considered myself those things, but I've lacked direction. I didn't know where I was going. Now, that doesn't mean I know exactly where I'm going now, but what I'm certain of is my direction. You know, it doesn't mean I know my destination. It doesn't mean I know, you know, the terminus, the last stop. I don't know that. But what I'm certain of is that I'm on the path to something good. Without uncertainty, I am on the path to something good. Yeah. Simple as that. 
I am on the path to something good. I've never, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in the very substance of my being. You know, I'm heading towards something good. And the day will come where my purpose will reveal itself. God will reveal my purpose. And I'm certain that, that purpose is going to involve helping so many people. I feel it in my bones. I feel born for it now. And this is all thanks to this, you know, spiritual awakenings that I've had. You know, this, my higher power. God as I understand him.